From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Bulk handling vehicles OEM, Desmond Equipment South Africa, also known as DESI Equipments, is aiming to capitalize on and boost years of consistent growth in the South African market by expanding its product range through partnerships. Cameron McKay tells us more. DESI Equipment designs and manufactures a range of wheel loaders, articulated dump trucks, motor graders, hauler tractors, cane loaders, and three-wheel loggers. With 25 years of manufacturing experience and 45 years in existence as of next year, Desi Equipment MD Carl Goodsight states that the expansion of its product range will showcase a more well-rounded product offering appropriate for African conditions. We've always have had a very simple recipe at Desi and that is look after your customers. Uh, you know, pay attention to the after-sale service. Selling the machine is in theory, the easy part, maintaining a relationship and looking after your clients is, is the more difficult part. And we've always believed that if you never lose a customer, you can only grow. And um, you know, that is, that is it's, it's, it's done extremely well for us at DESI. Although we've you know, grown relatively slowly over the years, it's been slow and steady growth. Um, we've seen it accelerated in the last uh, um, you know, five years. The company has grown between 20 and 25% year on year every year for the last five years um, and that sort of ties into with, with what our long-term plans on aims for the company is we understand that we need to uh, um, grow our range of equipment um, you know we've been very active in the forestry been very active in the sugar um, we've also been active in the mining side um, but we understand that we need to grow uh, specifically in South Africa because it's well known for mining we need to grow our mining equipment which is why we're developing our 40 ton ADT um, and also um, the long-term aims of the company is we needed to ex expand our product range. Um, we've made a decision that um, we're going to focus on rather improving and, and refining the products that we do. We're not going to expand um, with too many more models. We'll do the 40 tonner but we're also doing joint ventures with um, a Turkish manufacturer on wheel loaders and, uh, and with a very well-known Japanese um, manufacture for excavators. So it's really about uh, value add products for the company um, that we can look after uh, well through our, our, our uh, series of 19 dealers in South Africa and uh, a total of 20, 22, 20, 22 or 23 um, throughout South Africa and Sub Saharan Africa. So long term goals um, we need to expand the product, um, expand our footprint, make sure that we've got strong after sale service. Um, and offer the client um, a more well-rounded offering. Uh, where if a guy needs an ADT as well as an excavator or a big wheel loader, we can offer him the whole package and offer him the DESI uh, after sales service that goes with it. In addition to developing a 40-ton articulated dump truck for African conditions, DESI will distribute additional materials handling vehicles through two global manufacturers. This includes Turkish earth-moving manufacturer Tukorova Machine Industry, and a Japanese earth moving equipment manufacturer. The agreement with CMI would include a 15, 20 and 25 ton wheel loaders as DESI has had success in offering CMI's tractor loader backhoe since 2017. Goodsate states that dual branding these products will contribute to the company's growth and further extension of the company's brand. We've obviously grown DESI as a brand uh, uh, since, uh, since uh, the very early 90s um, and we believe that the hard work now is done. We've, we've put many, many years of blood, sweat and tears into our brand. Um, and it's, it's, uh, we believe that, that the brand is perceived to be a good brand and is backed very well in South Africa. It's, it's established, it's going nowhere. Um, we're a strong company, it's been in, in existence for a long time. So we, we felt that the time is right for us to extend um, our product range and brand it Desi. So, the products that we that we're going to be call it dual branding um, will be a Desi CMR for example CMR the manufacturers in Turkey so we want to we want to leverage on that on our brand and the work that we've done over all the years so if a client owns um, a Desi tractor or a Desi ADT has been happy with this product for many many years uh, we can simply offer them a TLB uh, branded as a Desi um, or an excavator branded as a Desi. Um, and he should, in theory, have the same comfort that he's dealing with the same company, provided that the product that we've chosen is the right quality, which we're very uh, confident in. The company's extensive dealer network has 
19 dealers in South Africa and 23 dealers throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. Goodset claims that this access to strategic regions will offer a more efficient service to clients. The company also plans to open another branch in George in the Western Cape, which will be fully functional to offer sales and after-sales service by November this year. We've grown uh, uh, tremendously and we're very strong in KZN and that was through our, our, our whole outlook on after-sales service. So naturally when the time came for us to select dealers around the country, it's not about, um, hey guys, what can you sell? It's about how can you look after the equipment, how can you look after the client? We've always believed that don't sell a machine into an area if you don't have a solid plan to look after it because you're going to open one door and close ten. Um, you know, so that, that's the criteria that we look at when we select a dealer. Uh, we really, possibly to our detriment, uh, you know, we're not, we, we focus more on what happens after the fact than uh, what happens, you know, in, in, the, in the very beginning. So we, we, we can address the sales and, and, and selling the units quite easily, um, but our, our main focus when we, when we um, select a dealer is do they have workshops, do they have proper after sales personnel, do they have reliable uh, um, uh, servicemen, uh, vehicles, um, and you know how far they're prepared to travel. Also, have enough dealers that uh, you don't have to charge your customer hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kilometres to travel because the end, user does, the end user doesn't want to pay and they shouldn't have to pay for it. So, um, strategic regions, specifically areas that are growing well in South Africa, we need to make sure that Desi is in those areas and that our after sales service is strong. Other news making headlines. John Deere invites third-party providers to join its digital platform. Agricultural equipment supplier John Deere, Sub-Saharan Africa, hosted a technology day inviting 18 solutions providers to learn more about the company's operations center platform. What sparked the decision for John Deere to offer this broader array of tools on operations center other than the ones you would traditionally offer? So currently, if, if you look at the total farming uh, um, that, that happens today, and all the decisions that a, that a farmer has to make. It's not just all about the equipment. Farmers don't farm alone. They also utilize seed companies, fertilizer companies, financial advisors, companies like that, with what we basically call third-party companies. So we've generated this more tools option for a, for a farmer as he goes into operation center, then that will populate a list for him of all of these additional companies um, that he can then select off to continue to, to, to make decisions and assist him with his day-to-day -day, um, decisions that he has to make on a farm. That's Cremo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.